is there really any truth to knowing too much? Well, the answer is for personal growth, no. You can never learn too much. Keep learning, keep expanding, keep growing. But on the flip side is you have to make sure you balance your information by giving information to athletes and people and your peers in the simplest format. You don't want to speak over their heads because now it becomes difficult to understand, difficult to translate, and etc. Know your stuff, break it down in simple terms, and go from there. And I can show you exactly how in the Jump 101 Discord community, where athletes and coaches can hang out, get information, and learn and grow together. How do you structure your training focus points from beginning to the end of season? The first season or cycle is going to be the base training. So we really work on the muscular endurance. We put them through reps of squats, lunges, just no running, just focusing on muscular endurance, having them be able to handle anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour of just physical movement. We then move into the early fall where it's about the 400s. We have the athletes do many 400s between six and eight of them and it's not timed. It's only focused on having them finish. So it's going to train their cardiovascular strength and also their willpower to help them become strong, resilient athletes. In the late fall, early winter, we then focus on specific event functional training, not the event yet, but just getting their body prepared for the movements that they're going to be doing. Then in the winter, we make it a competitive practice by doing winter meets. We're going short approach for most of our jumps. We're really focusing on the endurance side of it, working on high velocity speed work, and we're doing that during our winter season. Once we get into the actual high school season, that training of the winter season bleeds into the high school season to where the athletes are already in shape and ready to go. Then that bleeds into the outdoor national championship season where athletes are competing at very high levels and having fun. Then at the end of that, we reset and go again. You can see a full breakdown of the calendar right here in this video. At your prehistoric age, can you still jump? Yes. So you have an athlete who's always one foot behind the board. Here's how you fix it. You first start with figuring out what's the problem. You have an athlete who is running 80 or 90 feet away and they're trying to put their foot on the board from that far away. They will always miss it. So the fact that they're one foot behind the board consistently simply means that they're watching the board to see where they land. You can conquer this by giving them a set amount of steps and a recipe for their approach. I specifically use 14 steps for most athletes. It's six drive, four accelerate, four top end speed, and we work on just letting that consistently go over and over and over again. When you make their stride frequency and their stride length consistent, you're gonna have the same outcome all the time. Build your trust and also watch this video right here and you'll be able to break down how to fix a chronic fowler. What's the biggest thing girls can fix in a triple jump? Honestly, it's using their voice so that the male dominant coaching staff that we have stops training them like men. It's already bad enough that the gyms and the facilities are designed by men. Then we have women and their physical structure trying to move within those specific movements. Now, I'm speaking more about the American version of track, but we train our athletes focusing on power, strength, and speed. When triple jump is a game of chess, it's about position, it's about posture, it's about flexibility, power, all these things designed to move in a very unique way, which is very specific and very challenging. So, so many times I hear coaches talk about, you know, focusing on double arm or being more powerful and all these things when that's not really it all the time. There are very, very powerful women jumpers. However, most of them jump a certain way and they need to be studied and analyzed and focused on. And I just really feel that what we can fix isn't really the women doing much different. It's about the male coaches understanding the female anatomy, understanding the female body, and helping them jump as far as possible so we can get more Americans on that podium.